Information and communications technology is often used as an extended synonym for information technology, but is a more specific term that stresses the role of unified communications and the integration of telecommunications, computers as well as necessary enterprise software, middleware, storage, and audiovisual systems, which enable users to access, store, transmit, and manipulate information. The term ICT is also used to refer to the convergence of audiovisual and telephone networks with computer networks through a single cabling or link system. There are large economic incentives to merge the telephone network with the computer network system using a single unified system of cabling, signal distribution and management. History of the term, the phrase ICT had been used by academic researchers since the 1980s, but it became popular after it was used in a report to the UK government by Dennis Stevenson in 1997 and in the revised National Curriculum for England, Wales and Northern Ireland in 2000. As of September 2013, the term ICT in the UK National Curriculum has been replaced by the broader term computing. ICT versus Infocommunications The term infocommunications is sometimes used interchangeably with ICT. Infocommunications is the expansion of telecommunications with information processing and content handling functions on a common digital technology base. For a comparison of these and other terms, see Global costs of IT, the money spent on IT worldwide has been most recently estimated as 3.5 trillion US dollars and is currently growing at 5% per year a euro doubling every 15 years. The 2014 IT budget of US federal government is nearly $82 billion. IT costs, as a percentage of corporate revenue, have grown 50% since 2002, putting a strain on IT budgets. When looking at current companies a Euro unregistered trademark IT budgets, 75% are recurrent costs, used to a Euro or a keep the lights on a Euro in the IT department, and 25% are cost of new initiatives for technology development. The average IT budget has the following breakdown, 31% personal costs, 29% software costs, 26% hardware costs, 14% costs of external service providers. ICT Development Index The ICT Development Index compares the level of ICT use and access across the world. The WSIS Process and ICT Development Goals On December 21, 2001, the United Nations General Assembly approved Resolution 56-183, endorsing the holding of the World Summit on the Information Society to discuss the opportunities and challenges facing today's information society. According to this resolution, the General Assembly related the summit to the United Nations Millennium Declaration's goal of implementing ICT to achieve Millennium Development Goals. It also emphasized a multi-stakeholder approach to achieve these goals, using all stakeholders including civil society and the private sector, in addition to governments. See also Global eSchools and Communities Initiative, ICT Development Index, Info Communications, Cognitive Infocommunications, Digital Divide, Information Age, Information and Communication Technologies for Development, Information and Communication Technologies for Environmental Sustainability, Market Information Systems, Mobile Web, References. Further reading, Caperna A, Integrating ICT into Sustainable Local Policies. ISBN 9781615209293, Canoy, Martin. ICT in Education, Possibilities and Challenges. Universitat Obita de Catalunya, 2005. Good Practice in Information and Communication Technology for Education. Asian Development Bank, 2009. Grossman, G. and E. Heldman. Outsourcing in a Global Economy, Review of Economic Studies 72, 135-159. Oliver, Ron. The Role of ICT in Higher Education for the 21st Century, ICT is a Change Agent for Education. University, Perth, Western Australia, 2002. Walter Ron, Orality and Literacy, The Technologizing of the Word, in particular Chapter 4. Measuring the Information Society, the ICT Development Index. 
International Telecommunication Union. 2013. PA 254A.